like to discuss acting on our perceptions. There's an analogy I'd like to share with you. If you were sitting in your home and became aware that your neighbor stole your car, what would you do? Most likely some of us would call the police, others would go to that house, knock on the door, have a discussion, but none of us would stay seated on the couch knowing that our neighbor stole our car. So the analogy that I'm using is to bring the message of acting on our perception. When we form an opinion based on facts and evidence that the world is suffering, that there are increasing numbers of poverty, increasing numbers of debt, and people don't have a chance to, to enjoy the prosperity that they should be given at birth. We need to act on that perception. And how are we acting on that perception? We're acting on that perception by sharing our stories, by telling people what we know, gathering the information, and gaining the momentum that we need to tip the scales in favor of truth and justice. Just like every radical shift in governmental policy, which is in the direction of human progress, requires the participation and nonviolent protest. It's an absolute must. It has been successful in the past. This nation will rise up. It's the only way. And don't forget that all important movements, including civil rights, women's liberation, the Child Labor Act, all of them were incredibly unpopular in the beginning and portrayed horrifically on the mainstream media. So we cannot forget that when something like this is happening and we hear about it, that it's up to us to make well-informed opinions based on facts, based on evidence from many alternative sources and not just take it for granted when you hear one source. You must collect the facts and information from a varied amount of sources. So act on your perception. Don't sit on the couch knowing that your neighbor stole the car. Go talk to that neighbor, make it happen, and enjoy justice and truth. And spread the word, get out there, participate. This is what democracy looks like.